Local taxing districts such as the city or county receive a majority of their funding from local property tax revenues. Property tax revenues are not constant for any taxing district. Revenues for taxing districts can increase in two ways. First, if a property undergoes a substantial improvement or rehabilitation, the assessor is allowed to do a reassessment of the assessed value of the property. The subsequent increased taxable assessed value provides increased tax revenue to the taxing districts. Second, even for property that does not have a substantial improvement or rehabilitation, the assessor can increase the assessed value of any property by up to 3% each year. This up to 3% appreciation is independent of the urban renewal area and will occur regardless of whether a city or county has adopted an urban renewal area. This means each taxing district can experience up to a 3% growth in revenues without taking into account any substantial improvements or new development. When a city identifies a particular location as an urban renewal area, the property tax revenue stream is altered to include revenue for the urban renewal agency. The property tax revenue stream is altered such that the amount of increased property tax revenue generated by the urban renewal area is redistributed to the urban renewal agency. Whatever amount of property tax revenue the properties inside the urban renewal area were generating prior to the adoption of an urban renewal plan continues to flow to the regular taxing districts. It is only the increases in revenue after the formation of an urban renewal area that will be redistributed to the urban renewal agency. This redistribution is referred to as the division of taxes. The process for collecting urban renewal agency property tax revenues is more complex than can be explained in this video. For more information, please see our other video on why urban renewal will appear on your property tax bill.